Over the last century, hundreds of thousands of flint tools were found at Lacotte. So down here. Becky and Matt have arranged for some of the best to be brought down to the beach. They can demonstrate just how sophisticated the Neanderthals were. You've got artefacts here from a very long period of time. What do they tell us about the Neanderthals? What's interesting about this collection of, as a whole is there's a lot of flint in it which these artefacts are here and there's no flint on the island. And the nearest source of flint is, is perhaps 20 kilometres away. So they're probably following animals here and they're, they're arriving in a place where there's not brilliant stone for, for making mm. stone tools so they're having to bring that in from elsewhere. There is flint around here, it is in the beaches, but it's useless. They're discriminating, they're not touching that. They know where the good raw material sources are. This one is particularly beautiful. Yeah, this is actually part of a much bigger piece, but I don't recognise the raw material at all. So this is something very exotic. I mean, that's beautiful. It's been really carefully Bing. manufactured. What's also interesting about this piece is it comes from the very early excavations that took place in the upper part of the cave. And these may have been some of the last Neanderthals in this landscape. So that to me suggests somebody who's not only good at making something that's very functional, but they've got an eye for beauty as well. It doesn't look like a technology of people on the edge. And that's another thing we need to really focus on. Neanderthals, if they, compared to humans, lacked ability, if they lacked the ability to make tools, lacked the ability to think, they would have been extinct before they'd even started. Nature just doesn't allow a creature that isn't perfectly fit to its environment to, to thrive and exist. 